There are many ways in which you can prioritize features for development. One of the most commonly advocated is prioritizing by business value. There are two difficulties with this, one of which is semantics, the other of which is physics, and one of these you can overcome, the other you can't. But before we get into that, welcome to the Modern Software Engineering channel. My name's Kevin Henney. If you like what you see, give us a like. If you want more of it, give us a follow. So let's talk about business value. What exactly do you mean? You need to be precise about this one. Who is it for? Is it business value for your business unit? For your whole company? Or is it business value for your client? These are not the same. Then when you define business value, you also have to define what measure. Is it in money? If then in that case, is that shares? Is that income? Is that profit? Or is it engagement and opportunities? These are not the same and sometimes they're actually inversely related. And then, perhaps subtly and most significantly, over what time frame? Do you mean over the coming week, the coming quarter, or the next five years? These are all different and they'll give you different priorities. So let's talk physics. The biggest difficulty with prioritizing by business value is you can't do it. I'm not saying you shouldn't do it, I'm actually saying you can't. It's not possible. It's not just a difficulty, it's an impossibility. And why is this? Well, you don't know the business value until some point in the future, at which point you can say what the business value was. But in the present, you have no more than a guess or an estimate. And as you're no doubt keenly aware where actuals are not the same as estimates. The only way that you're going to be able to prioritize by business value is by using a time machine and traveling to the future and then back again. Given our current understanding of physics, this is not possible. So what this means in practice is that now, in order to prioritize, you may want to determine and estimate your business value, having defined what you mean by business value, and then you can prioritize according to that. You can catch yourself or anyone else who in future uses the term prioritize by business value. Prioritize by business value estimate once you've actually defined what it is you mean by business value. 